Uh, I love the rain. I think definitely a lot of my friends from Madrid are not fans, but to me it reminds me of London, of my home and where I was born and I grew up. So definitely a day like today is actually very special. Um, even though the crew were like, I'm sorry that it's raining. And I was like, I love it. I'm all about it. Let's go. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ana Mafalda and we're here in Madrid visiting some of my favorite spots. Um, we are in Faraday, which is this really cute coffee shop and I just love the vibe. I mean, not only the aesthetics of the place, but also the fact that they have vinyl music and really good music playing throughout the day. I moved to Madrid two years ago and it's just been absolutely insane. Yeah, I mean, everybody right now, I think, has this weird obsession with Madrid, and I think it's really exciting, and they want to come visit because of things they see that I'm, like, sharing on Instagram, on my socials, which is just the culture, the energy, everything happening here right now is really exciting. The community in Spain, there's definitely that idea of going out to a terrace, or you might go to a balcony or somewhere, and you're just sitting there, and having a coffee or a drink or whatever, but you could be there for hours. I was gonna to come to Madrid earlier, but then COVID happened. And I think the craziest thing about COVID is that we were all so separated from each other that now I think people, all they wanna be is with other people and just have fun, be surrounded, dance, enjoy, laugh. Being a part of the Madrid music scene or the Spanish music scene is an unbelievable thing and right now there are so many artists and music and just different genres as well happening here. Whether it's using the flamenco with electronic or using the alternative with the pop or just different types of genres that come together to make something new. And everybody is just keeps telling me, oh my god, you live in Madrid, it's so fun, it's so crazy and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we are in a shop that a friend of mine brought me to the other day, which is called Almacén de Discos, where they have an unbelievable collection of vinyls. People love having vinyls and I have a collection at home. I know that friends of mine do as well and it's a very nostalgic but beautiful thing to have again. So I remember going to music stores in London and buying CDs or that number one album that was coming out or just that album that nobody really knew about but you knew about and you told all your friends about. Um, I think Mad Cool for Madrid is extremely special because not only does it provide a stage for local artists but also for international artists that maybe a lot of people might not have the opportunity to go see them somewhere else. And for me last year Mad Cool was unbelievable because I saw Florence in the Machine which Florence in the Machine to me is, she's everything, I mean she is everything that I look up to and everybody from different backgrounds, from different, it just doesn't matter who you are, we're all there for the same thing and we want to go enjoy the music and just enjoy that time of being together and seeing people that we just really admire.